Hey guys, John Vaporonic Technologies here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about dry blast versus wet blast piston cleaning. This is a very, very common application and question that we get. What is the difference between dry versus wet and how can it help me clean items such as pistons? Most of the time when you talk about piston cleaning, people start to freak out a little bit. but. Here's the reality of the situation. We actually help OEM manufacturers that produce and manufacture pistons, and we help them with a different process, not a cleaning application, but other applications that I'm not going to disclose here, um, but we are specifically processing pistons um, through the equipment for specific processes, but um, if you were looking to clean pistons, then it's a fantastic process because you are not eroding away material. Um, you're not rolling and rounding edges like you would in a dry process. Um, the wet process is much more efficient and of course it's dust free and cleaner. And of course you don't get the heat build up. That's probably the biggest difference when you're looking uh, between dry versus wet period um, on any particular part or application. You don't get the heat build up. Um, so what that means is it's not going to warp the part. The part's not going to change dimensionally um, or structurally. Um, if anything, you're actually going to make it more structurally sound because you are wet shot painting the part, providing some surface compression um, on the surface of the part, adding strength to it, uh, basically helping it reduce micro cracks and fractures. But um, you can see um, during the cleaning processes that basically the water and the abrasive mixed just washes away contaminants um, while not changing the integrity of the surface. Now, there are a couple different things. If you want to clean the piston, um, that's one application. But if you want to prep it for a thin film coating like a Cerakote, then you're obviously going to use a totally different abrasive um, to do that. Um, because there are cleaning abrasives that provide a good finish on the part and then there are abrasives that can prep the surface for a coating um, such as a thin film ceramic coating. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have more questions, put them in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to all of our channels and thanks for watching.